हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand noise in communication engineering. We can define noise as unwanted electrical energy of random and unpredictable nature present in system due to any cause. So we can define noise as unwanted electrical energy of random and unpredictable nature present in system due to any cause. so we can say noise is an electrical disturbance which does not contain any useful information since noise is unwanted electrical energy of random and unpredictable nature that's why we can say noise is electrical disturbance which does not contain any useful information that's why the noise has to be minimized we need to remember that noise cannot be eliminated once it is mixed with the signal once it is mixed with the signal it will deteriorates the signal this results in alteration of original signal here we need to remember noise cannot be eliminated once it is mixed with the signal once the noise is mixed with the signal it will deteriorates the waveform which means it will alter the waveform it will change the waveform that's why we can say if the noise is mixed with the signal it will result in alteration of the original information hence wrong information will be received at the receiver the function of receiver is to receive the information that is transmitted by the transmitter and it has to recover the original information if noise is high in received signal the receiver will recover noise instead of information here the function of receiver is to receive the information transmitted by the transmitter and it has to recover the original information if noise is very high in the received signal then the receiver will recover the noise instead of original information to avoid this the system designer can make sure that the signal is adequately powerful before transmitting it to avoid this the system designer can make sure that the signal is adequately powerful so signal should be adequately powerful before transmitting the signal this enables the signal to withstand the noise if the signal is powerful before transmitting this will help the signal to withstand the noise to achieve this the designer has to increase signal power to noise power which is snr signal to noise ratio hence the system designer has to increase the signal power to noise power which is signal to noise ratio the noise is added to the signal when the signal is transmitted over a channel here channel contributes major part of noise but noise can also be mixed with the signal within transmitting and receiving equipments so here noise is added to the signal when the signal is transmitted over a channel that's why we can say channel will contributes major part of the noise but noise can also be mixed with the signal within the transmitting and receiving equipments when the noise is added to the signal when the signal is transmitted over the channel the noise is known as external noise it is known as external noise or extraneous noise when the noise is mixed with the signal within the transmitting and receiving equipments the noise is known as internal noise 
when the noise is added to the signal during transmission over the channel it is known as external noise and when the noise is added to the signal within the transmitting and receiving equipments it is known as internal noise now let us understand signal to noise ratio and noise figure first let us understand signal to noise ratio we can define signal to noise ratio as the ratio of the signal power to the noise power at a point in the circuit so we can define signal to noise ratio as the ratio of signal power to the noise power at a point in the circuit so we can say it is the measure of signal power to the relative noise power at a particular point in a circuit signal to noise ratio can be expressed as s by n is equal to ps divided by p n here ps is signal power and p n is noise power since we know power can be given as v square r from this we can write ps can be written as vs square r and pn can be written as vn square r then we can write signal to noise ratio as ps divided by pn that is nothing but vs square r divided by vn square r we can call this as equation 1 and this as equation number 2 here vs is nothing but signal voltage and vn is nothing but noise voltage so from equation 2 we can write signal to noise ratio is equal to vs square r divided by vn square r so here if we cancel out these two r so we can simplify this equation as s by n signal to noise ratio as vs square divided by vn square in terms of decibels we can represent signal to noise ratio as signal to noise ratio in terms of decibels will be equal to 10 log to base 10 of vs square divided by vn square so so above equation in terms of decibels we can write it as 20 log to base 10 of vs by vn so this is the formula for signal to noise ratio in terms of decibels for example in a circuit if signal voltage is given as 3.5 millivolts and noise voltage is given as 0.75 millivolts then we can write signal to noise ratio in terms of decibels is equal to 20 log to base 10 of 3.5 divided by 0.75 signal to noise ratio in terms of decibels will be equal to 20 log to base 10 of 4.66 so we will get signal to noise ratio is equal to 13.38 decibels now let us understand noise figure noise figure is the measure of the noise introduced by the circuit so we can say noise figure is the measure of noise introduced by the circuit so we can define noise figure as the ratio of the signal to noise power at the input of the circuit and the signal to noise power at the output of the circuit so we can define noise figure as the ratio of signal to noise power at the input of the circuit and the signal to noise power at the output of the circuit so we can write f is equal to signal to noise power at input terminal of the circuit to the signal to noise power at output terminal of the circuit so we can say 
noise figure as signal to noise power at input terminal of the circuit to the signal to noise power at the output terminal of the circuit. Here if noise figure is unity the noise power introduced by the circuit will be zero since both the input and output signal noise power are same. So here from this formula we can note that if f is unity which means noise figure is unity at that case the noise introduced by the circuit will be zero since both signal to noise power at input as well as output will be same. This is about signal to noise ratio and noise figure. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.